All right, today what we're going to do is draw a fox. First thing, let's go ahead and draw in some basic shapes. First thing is, let's go ahead and draw in this basic shape of his head, which is a circle. Now when we're finished, it will not look like a circle. So be sure to draw lightly. Now that we have the head in, the head shape in, let's go ahead and create the structure lines of his body. Now his body is going to look like a teardrop. We want to make sure he looks like he's leaning this way. I sometimes draw a line that looks like this, very lightly. That helps me create that illusion of him leaning. And let's go ahead and draw in his legs. Now we're going to just draw in very uh, thin lines, very light and thin lines to just to get everything in place where we want it. All right. And also here at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and put in his paws. Now his paws are like an oval shape, right here. Same thing on this side. Draw in another oval. Now his tail, his tail is going to be a big tail. He's going to, he's going to be holding his tail. And we're going to go ahead and draw in another teardrop shape. And we're going to create this little curve right here at the end of his tail. That comes down like this. And wraps right around his body. See that? This line here we can erase. We will not need this line. Oops, I just made a, a big line mark right across my paper. His paw, one of his paws will be right here. He's going to be holding his tail. His tail is his pride and joy. And another oval there. So we have those two ovals. We have two ovals for his feet. This arm we will not see because his arm will be on the other side of his tail. This arm we will see. So let's go ahead and draw in a very thin line here. It's a structure line. Once again, just to place the arm where we want it. All right, I think we have the structure down. So let's give it some form. Down here by his legs, let's go ahead and thicken up his legs a little bit. Be thicker at the top, thinner toward his ankles. Same thing here. Thinner down here, and it'll get thicker up at the top. He has three uh, toes, I guess. Three toes. So we have one. This one will be just slightly smaller, and this one will be smaller yet. Even though those toes may be smaller as they get further, you know, smaller. So we've got the big toe, middle toe, and the smallest toe. But still you want to create that illusion that things are going into space. Same thing on this side. One, that's a big one. Medium sized one, and then the smallest one right there. Alright, nice job. Same thing with his... Well, this is going to be a little different for his front paws. We just want to go ahead and draw in three shapes here for his paw. And for his arm, thicken up his arm a little bit. And we want three lines here for his other paw. Just like that. For his belly, let's go ahead and draw on this line. This line will separate his fur coat color from his belly color. And we need a line right here on his tail. This will be the white part of his tail. This will be the colored part of his tail. Super. Now that we have the bottom part of his body completed, Let's go ahead up at the top, and now we need to shape his head. His head on this side is going to have a little bit more of a square shape right there. And let's go ahead and draw in his cheeks. It's actually the fur on his cheeks it sticks out. All right, let's go ahead and draw in his, his snout. Now, 
Here's the end of his snout. We want to go ahead and bring in this line and taper it into the bottom part of his jaw. Just like that. We want it to make it, you know, we want to draw it so it looks natural. It's a natural part of his face. On the end of his snout, we're going to go ahead and draw that cute nose. It's a small nose. Foxes have these little small noses. That way they can weasel their way into things or they can slyly fit into things. Alright, and we have to draw in the other side of the fur, which is right here. This one's going to appear larger. This is a little bit smaller because it's farther away. Now let's go ahead and draw in his eyes. Here's one eye. This is going to be larger. And this one will be, yep, you got it, smaller. Now, because he's a fox, we want him to appear sly and sneaky. Let's go ahead and drop his eyelid. This will give the look and feel that he has a plan. He's got something in the works. Let's go ahead and draw in the pupil for this eye comes down we're going to see a little bit of the white on this side of his pupil and of course draw in that reflection and shade in this part of his pupil same thing on this side now because this is farther away we won't see uh, we'll only see one part of the white of his eye so this side, we'll go ahead and shade this in. And give him some eyebrows. He needs a grin. That really helps. No, he kind of looks like he has something in stored. He's planning. A sneaky plan. Let's go ahead and draw on the ears. Now his ears will be pointed, and we want to draw on this ear as well. This is going to be a little bit smaller. It's not really small, it's just we want to make it appear to be small because it's farther away. We want to make sure it tapers into the side of the face, so again it looks like a natural part of his face. And darken this line here. inside his ears because they're triangular shape. We'll make these ones the inside of his ears triangles as, as well. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and darken up some of these lines here on his face. And his snout. And his body. How about that? When we darken up the lines we want to keep, all the structure lines will appear to fade away. We want to keep the lines that will create the form and illusion of him looking like a fox. Since we're drawing a fox, we don't want him to look like something else. Alright, here on the face, we're going to go ahead and divide the face up a little bit. This will be the separation of the white part of his face and the color part of his face. And since we're drawing a pencil drawing, um, we're creating a pencil drawing here, let's go ahead and shade in this fox. Now this fox can be any color that you choose. We can go ahead and use our pencil to shade this fox in so he'll appear to be gray, a gray fox. But again, you can go ahead and use any color color that you want to make your fox any color that you think would be fun. Here, let's go ahead and shade in part of the neck and the body here. Now this is the white part of the stomach, so we don't want to shade that part in, but we want to shade the outside of his stomach from that white area. And I'm going to darken up the paw lines here so we don't get confused. And go ahead and shade this part in. Let's 
And same thing here. And also is pause. If you use the side of your pencil, you can cover more area that quicker. We just want to be neat. We want to keep everything inside those lines. And of course his tail. His tail needs to be gray, except for the white tip. Now by placing in these gray tones, it creates a nice contrast between the white background of the paper and then also the white parts of his body. Let's go ahead and give him a shadow. That way it looks like he's really standing on the ground here. Now because he's gray, we want to make sure that we make the shadow just slightly darker. So it creates that nice contrast, it creates a contrast between his gray fur and the dark part of the ground. Well, dark part of the shadow that's on the ground. Let's say it that way. And of course in the background I like to let's go ahead and bring in a few lines. Now these lines here could be any shape that you want, but we're gonna just use simple straight lines. Gives the illusion that there is a ground there and he is standing on some type of solid ground. All right, I think we are completed with this fox. We might want to just clean up some of these lines, these structure lines. All right, awesome. Nice job. Keep drawing, keep practicing, and tune in next time.